Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas episode 9. Today is one of my cat's birthdays, Buzz, so we're gonna be celebrating that in like an hour by giving him a special meal today. Some wet food, fancy feast, because he usually eats dry food, but on his birthday he does get special food. And he doesn't have a gotcha day like some of my other pets because he just showed up one day. That's so, yeah. But I am going to be starting a new book in this vlog. I'm going to be starting Still Life by Sarah Winman. This is a historical novel. This is um, Tuscany 1944 as Allied troops advance and young... Oh, I misread. Okay. And bombs fall around deserted villages. A young English soldier, Ulysses Temper, finds himself in the wine cellar of an abandoned villa. There he has a chance encounter with Evelyn Skinner, a middle-aged in my mouth, art historian, who has come to Italy to salvage paintings from the ruins and recall long-forgotten memories of her own youth. In each other, Ulysses and Evelyn find a kindred spirit amidst the rubble of war-torn Italy and set off a course of events that will shape Ulysses' life for the next four decades. As Ulysses returns home to London, Reimmersing himself and his crew at the Stoat and Parrot, a motley mix of pub crawlers and eccentrics, he carries his time in Italy with him, and when an unexpected inheritance brings him back to where it all began, Ulysses knows better than to tempt fate and return to the Tuscan hills. With beautiful prose, extraordinary tenderness, and burst of humor and light, still life is a sweeping portrait of unforgettable individuals who come together to make a family and a deeply drawn celebration of beauty and love in all forms. So I love seeing relationships. Um, I only say it, that doesn't mean romantic because a lot of times when people hear relationships, they automatically think romance. But this elderly or middle-aged art historian and a young English soldier just randomly meeting in Italy, I think should be interesting. And then um, seeing the time after the war and the effect that it has on him, I think will be good. But I'm going to be starting this now. This is my last five star prediction of 2023. So let's hope it lives up to that. We are about to go celebrate Bud's birthday, but I did read the first 27 pages in here. I went through 25 pages in that sitting. So I think the dialogue is really clever. The characters are, but it's one of those books that doesn't use quotation marks. So if you're somebody who doesn't like that, then don't pick this up or maybe do the audiobook if that is your case. I am reading this book physically and my favorite painting ever got mentioned on the second page so it's super exciting to see um that it's primavera by botticelli my favorite one and hopefully i'll get to see one day but i don't have a passport so technically i cannot do that unless it went on tour or something but i don't think it should it should stay in florence italy but that's another thing italy we know i love italy i love the quote that um i love both quotes actually that were at the start so we have one by E.M. Forrester from Commonplace Book that says two people pulling each other into salvation is the only theme I find worthwhile. And yes, how we can impact other people's lives. And it's just so amazing. Then the next one is from Carl Baedeker, Italy Handbook for Travelers, 1899. One of the primary objects of the enlightened traveler in Italy is usually to form some acquaintance with its treasures of art, even those whose unusual evocations are of the most prosaic nature and unconsciously become admirers of poetry and art in Italy. The traveler here finds them so interwoven with scenes of everyday life that he encounters their influence at every step and involuntary becomes sus suspectable to their power. And that is so true if you've been to Italy, but we are going to go give Bud his birthday dinner now. Okay, there's the kitty. Here's what I got him. Fancy feast medleys, wild Alaskan salmon recipe with carrots and spinach. That sounds disgusting if I got this at Petco. Happy birthday. Update time for reading. So I read 16%, which was 76 pages in here. Tomorrow this will be our main focus though. BSI, or no. It won't be our main focus, my bad, but I am 
loving this. I don't know if it's going to be a five star yet because I'm I'm not that far into it to know, but I am loving it. I think we're gonna have some of that found family trope and from what I talked about earlier, I do enjoy that trope of just seeing how all everybody goes about their relationships for I just woke up, but then we are, the majority of the story seems it's gonna be post-war in London. I love the post-war English setting. It's one that I want to know more about, but there's not a lot of media on it. So when I can get my hands on that, I love it. And I did not realize that this book was going to be like that. So I am loving the setting. Writing is good. Um, I am kind of scared um, how the characters will develop. I'm scared that they're not going to develop well, but you never know. And the author, Karen Joy Fowler, left a blurb on the back. Um, she wrote one of my favorite books of last year, Booth. And her character work is great, so I feel like she knows what she's talking about, <laughs> that I don't need to be worried. But again, I'm not far enough into it to know for a fact or anything. So I'm gonna go make some vegetable soup now. I um, made the cornbread earlier and I made them in like the shape of gingerbread men, which is super cute. And that's what I'm gonna go do. And I'm super thirsty, so I can't wait to go get a drink. <laughs> like Justin Bieber 10 years ago maybe longer than that <laughs> with my bangs but I want to talk about um so I watched Frosty the Snowman the like original movie because I know there was like a sequel which I've seen that this was a rewatch for me and um yeah it's a good movie it's like it's only 22 minutes so I mean it feels weird calling it a movie <laughs> Um, so it's a rewatch, obviously, so I don't really have any... Oh my gosh, I used to have a Frosty Build-A-Bear. I think he's upstairs in storage, but um, I've been really anxious. I like to stay real with y'all, and I feel like my fears get invalidated. Is that the right word? Where it's like, uh, people think it's dumb, and like, yeah, I'm like, I don't care if you think it's dumb, because I'm still going to be scared. So like, just like, I don't get a point in invalidating other people. Again, I hope this are, hi, I know you don't, you're the only one who doesn't. <laughs> Fred, he was been a paw on my leg. Again, this guy, just, you get, sometimes you get a pet at the right moment in your life. And I got Fred my freshman year in high school. And obviously at that age, there's so many changes happening and everything, so. He's been with me through a lot, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, I was anxious. So I literally went outside and <laughs> hi, <laughs> and went on a walk while watching my movie at like eight o'clock at night, just watching my movie on my phone, going on a walk. And because it's not that cold here, so it was in the sixties today, but um, so that, that was nice. But I did. Don't show my book, please. Don't show my book because I need to show the vlog. <laughs> okay, and then here's there's a, a toy. So I read 24 more pages in Wayward. And actually this won Best Historical Fiction at the Goodreads Choice Awards and Best Debut Novel. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, out of the ones we've read so far, yes, it has been the best, but it's still like a three star read it's a pretty average read i'm over halfway into it now we should finish it in tomorrow's video uh, yeah it's just yeah it's fine but i i wouldn't say it's the best book but again out of the ones that we've read that were nominated it has been the best so far so we'll just have to see how that goes once we read more of the books and see if i agree with this being the winner but i am going to go um get a bath and everything now um do you mind nighttime <laughs> rituals um but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video we did start a new book to oh don't bite me <laughs> um we started a new book today that had a bird on the cover both books that i've read today have had birds on the cover so if you made it through this whole video leave a bird emoji in the comments below and as always comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell to be notified when all my videos go live i'll see you in the next one bye